Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. I am your psychic Christine Wallace. And this is a little bit different than the videos I normally post up. So this is kind of a tutorial uh, video to read tea leaves. And the reason that I'm trying to, or wanting to teach my viewers how to read the tea leaves is because I do have an online Zoom event coming up soon and the people that are coming or, or to the event are going to have to follow whoops, some instructions in order to prepare their cups for the event, okay? And there are actually 12 VIP tickets that are gonna be available where you are going to get your own tea leaf reading cup along with your tea tea leaves and instructions to read so the fun part about doing tea leaf readings is you don't have to be psychic to do them you can do them for yourself or your friends it's it's it, you know it's going to be a different reading though altogether when you have a psychic doing your tea leaf reading though because if you have psychic ability the reading is going to be much more in depth so do keep that in mind so i prepared everything over here so what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to get yourself tea ready you're going to get your boiling water or however you set your tea this is the tea cup see all the images there so in here we have letters, uh, stars, clovers, there are a bunch of different symbols. And this here is my saucer for the bottom. So there are some teacups for tea leaf readings that are going, that you can actually read the bottom plate too, but this is not one of those. All of the images are in the cup and Mostly, this is what you're going to find. This is the more traditional way of, of reading tea leaves. So this to me is looking like maybe about, I don't know, approximately, this is a little much. I would say maybe two teaspoons would normally be enough tea. And you're supposed to be using black tea. Black tea is the right kind of tea for the for the tea leaf reading. But of course, anything that looks like black tea is going to work too. Even lavender is fine. So really, you can use any kind of tea, but black tea is the traditional tea. So let's uh, go ahead and, and just watch what I do and how this is done. So we're going to go ahead and pour some of these leaves here on the bottom of my cup. So that, that's actually a little less than half. Oh, I'll put a little more. You kind of go, got to go on a feeling. <laughs> um, so this is about the amount that I have in there. Can you go ahead and see? Okay. So yeah, that's, that's looking like, like about two teaspoons of tea. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to pour the boiling water. Now, normally it would just be plain, you know, boiled water. So I, right now, I have just pretty much just covered, covered the tea, covered the leaves. So a very small amount of tea. You're not going to set this up in in the normal way you you drink tea because you're just going to need to take a couple of sips i'm going to try to just hold my saucer up so you can see like an amount of tea that's in here okay very little uh just enough like a little bit above the leaves not much we just want to get those nice and incorporated so what i'm going to do already going to the side so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take three sips of the tea and as I'm taking the sips of the tea 
I'm gonna like think of my questions, like questions that I have in my mind. So when you're, if you're coming to the event, this is what you're gonna need to do. So three sips and think of your questions. Baby sips because the leaves are loose in there. So that's one. And that's two. And that is three. So I just left a little bit of water in there, very little. So this is what we do next. Now the handle needs to be facing you, okay? So we're gonna do a little flip here. and see how the thing, the handle is gonna be facing me. And now I'm going to turn this three times clockwise. One, a full turn. Two, And then three. Right around bringing the handle of the cup right back to myself. And we're gonna see what the teacup wants to tell us. Okay. Okay, so right here. Now how it works is that whatever's on the bottom is representative, representative of the past, which so far it's, it's pretty accurate. <laughs> Very accurate actually. So on the bottom of the teacup, and this is what you're going to have to do for me to read your tea leaves at the event, the Zoom event. At the bottom, you know, the house is being covered. Uh, we have some leaves that are really close to the ant here. Okay. And we have also the rattle is covered. We have the tree here. All right. So what this is showing that in the past there was a lot of hard work kind of like building up a foundation. And it also shows that this foundation was being built for security, stability, and there was some quick thinking involved. <laughs> now, the reason I say quick thinking is because the sickle is here on the bottom of the cup as well. And it shows that things were kind of going up and down Okay, initially, good and bad, both. And what it's also showing me here is that some of the leaves here are covering the man on the horse, which means that good news is coming. Someone is gonna come and, and tell me some positive news. It's also showing that there is a, a like an, a, uh, an immature person around me as well no names <laughs> because the baby rattle is being touched by the leaves and it's also showing here like a little tree so that means that things have become stable because the leaves are covering the symbol of the tree and what i'm also seeing here Oh, so there's going to also be a letter, a positive letter coming my way. 
and it also shows good fortune because a leaf landed right on the sun. It's showing an incredible amount of strength. And it's showing, which is really good because we have a dark cloud and a light cloud, but my tea leaf landed on the light cloud, so that's good. And we also have some leaves here that fell on the on the wedding ring, the ring there, so that is showing marriage. So that's probably my daughter in the near future is what I'm looking at here. So yeah, it, it's actually looking good. So I guess this is kind of representative of a couple of the events coming up in the future. And the present looks stable, so that's good. So stable, present, lots of good stuff coming up for my future. Of course, this whole thing gets much more in depth than what I'm doing right now on this YouTube video. Um, but I'm just trying, like I said, to give you guys like an overview of how tea leaves work and tea leaves, re uh, tea leaf readings work and how to do it. So it's good that a lot of the leaves ended up on the house, which like I said, is symbolic of security, stability, uh, a large purpose, uh, purchase, an investment uh, into a home is is also what that could be representative of depending on the person who is having the reading done so and if you can see the lion over here this is representative of strength the sun is new beginnings so like I said, this is just a general idea. It, it, it is actually telling me a lot more, but I don't think many of you really want to see me do my own reading. <laughs> I'll probably do some of that uh, on here on YouTube after the main event that I'm having. You know how sometimes I just throw out the cards and allow you guys to pick a pile and all of that. I can do that with the tea leaves as well, but we're going to start that after my upcoming event right now. So let, let's talk a little bit about that. So I am working to create that right now. And right now the date is looking like February 13th and 14th. So it's going to be a two day online event. Tickets are going to be on sale soon. It's going to be done on Zoom. Uh, I have 12, there are going to be 12 VIP tickets available. And whoever gets the VIP tickets, I'm going to go ahead and ship out your very own tea leaf reading cup with instructions and tea and everything. And you're gonna, I'm gonna also send out these instructions, uh, written instructions to follow to set up your cup and how it's done. Or you can always refer back to this video and just have a look at it. That's an option. I'm gonna also send that by email because you're gonna have to get your tickets via Eventbrite when the time comes. So, and I'm also sending out uh, a special gift package to my VIP tickets as well, but only 12 will be available. So keep that in mind, just 12. And uh, it's gonna go out to members first and whatever the remainder of those tickets are will be given to the public, okay? So there's gonna be a total of 60 tickets between the VIP tickets and the general tickets so the for the general tickets you're you are going to have to get your own like little teacup together get your tea leaves and everything ready and i'm sure you have something like that at home but be sure it's not a mug okay you just saw the little dance that's needed here between the cup and the saucer so a mug is not going to give us what we want to achieve in a tea leaf reading. So make sure it's a regular teacup 
with a handle just like that. I'm also having another in-person event, and that's going to take place May 14th and 15th in Los Angeles. Those tickets are currently for sale on Eventbrite. And it's going to be somewhere, you know, in near Beverly Hills area. We're going to prepare a venue there for people to actually come in. We've already started promoting that event in Los Angeles. And, uh, you know, you can just, you know, pop in to that one. I have the entry fee tickets for sale now. So the entry fee ticket is $15 and it's for sale on my website, psychicreadingexpert.com. So that's, and that's just entry fee only where you have access to the buffet, the beverage, you can, you know, look around at the vendors, you can choose different psychics. So, you know, you can figure out what you want to purchase once you enter the venue. Okay. Tickets to have a reading by me are currently available on, on Eventbrite. And I'm going to give you a link in the description below. And if you're choosing to have a reading done with me, you have to buy tickets for that in advance. And what I'm going to be doing is the full life reading, which is a combination of psychic and tarot together. Okay. And you can choose between the full life reading or the tea leaf reading on the day of the event. And we're also going to do a full aura cleanse as well. We're going to do a Reiki healing, a chakra balancing and an aura cleanse and a full life reading. You're going to get the gift package the gift bag, which is going to be specifically what I feel you need for your needs after doing the cleansing and the clearing and all of that and the reading. So I'm going to, you know, find whatever I feel is right for you, whether that be crystals, reading materials, instructions for you to follow house blessings, you know, depending on what it is that I see for you in the reading, what is best for you. Um, even follow up readings if need be we're going to include i'm going to include that for you as well so you are going to pretty much get the whole kit and caboodle at the event with me uh this is going to happen may 14th and 15th in los angeles and the tea leaf event is happening the 13th and the 14th of February. So you can see me in the West Coast or we can do the live Zoom reading. I have two events coming up. So whichever one works for you, I hope to see you there. Uh, again, go to my website, psychicreadingexpert.com. Check out all the services. I'm also talking more about the tea leaf reading event and the event in Los Angeles on my blog. So be sure to check that out. And I also have posted up a lot of wonderful things, uh, materials, writing materials on setting healthy boundaries. So important. If any of you that are watching this video have been listening to my podcast at all, or reading my blog at all, very, very important to love yourself. I talk a lot about our childhood and even our, you know, young adulthood and some stuff that affects our lives without us even realizing that we in fact do have the power to do something about. That's also, I know I also posted up a couple of videos on this as well. So you should be, you know, if you're looking for healing and learning more about spirituality, distance healing, all of that good stuff, then you should be, you know, looking at all the stuff that I've put out there, the podcast, the YouTube videos, the guided meditation videos, the blog, 
there's so much I put out there at no charge and of course you know if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with me that's up there too so thank you so much for uh, watching this tutorial about the steps that you need to take to do a tea leaf reading okay and I want to see you guys at my upcoming events I look forward to meeting with everyone in person. Thank you so much. Namaste. Good luck, everybody.